Hey there everyone, welcome back to the Royal Society with head librarian Keith Moore and an incredible object we have to show you today. Have a look at this. This is your solid object here. Pretty good. This is a chemical balance. So this is what your chemists from about 1800 would have been using to measure out substances. So what do you, on one side you put your chemical and on the other side you put your weights and... That's exactly right, yeah. This is serious professional science instrument here. Do we know a lot about exactly when this was made and who made it and who used it? Well, we know who made it because the maker's name's on it. We think this was made by Robert Fiddler for the Royal Society. There are sort of glancing references to it in things like philosophical transactions from this period. We can see here that the paper is by a very famous chemist indeed from this period. This is Humphrey Davy. The Humphrey Davy superstar of science. Absolutely right, yeah. And this is a great heroic age of chemistry, of course, they're discovering lots of new elements. This is a Bakerian lecture, which is one of the Royal Society's major lectures of the year. And you can see it's from 1806, this one. So if I turn the pages to the relevant bit here, you can see Davies talking about the chemical balance he uses for this little set of experiments here. And he says, the balance that I employed was made for the Royal Institution. So this is an experimental organisation made by Mr. Fiddler, after a model of that belonging to the Royal Society. Society. So, Royal Institution has seen this great balance that the Royal Society has, and it wants one of them. So they got the same guy to make one for Davy as well. So. That's right. Yeah. So it must have been pretty good. We they copied it. They copied, they copied it. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. But well, it's the highest form of flattery. It's very dainty, Keith, and it's got drawers and keys. Well, I think we should just explore it a little bit. You can see the main elements of the balance there. So the balance will be on knife edges. You've got pans on either the side. The key turn? Yeah, the key turns. Very satisfying click, has it? Yeah. Yeah, OK. Here we go. But you wouldn't actually need to open these doors in order to get at it because you can see there are nifty little side doors here ah. and that's just right for getting your weights and, and, and ah. measures into there as you so, can see there you go oh it's, it smells nice and you can see on the glass here there's been a little hole cut out and you can see there's a scale on the inside there which is observed through here and we assume that someone had a small microscope or a telescopic arrangement to look through that hole so they could see a scale and very very fine detail okay so you want to see exactly what it's pointing to yeah let's have a look at the drawers here this is quite nice isn't Ooh. it because what you've got is a piece of rolled up newspaper and it looks like they've got tweezers and all kinds of things in here i love it i love that yeah. The stuff is still here. Look, proper uh, working tweezers. Yeah. They've obviously wrapped one of these up in, in a period newspaper. Oh, it's got a date. It has got a date. <gasps> this is 1877, so they're clearly still using it up until that point, which is, is kind of fun. And, and look, we can see what the news of the day was. The Indian famine, Dr. Newman on Turkish history. And if we just turn that over, what have we got on the other side? Oh, it's the Times. Yep, it's the Times, yeah. Pop that open, let's see what's inside. Yes. Oh, and here we go. Oh, a warning that there's lead in here. Yep, so these are lead weights here. Oh yeah, some lead weights there for putting on one side of the scale, obviously. Oh, oh. some more big ones there. Yeah, very good. There's a big oh, weight. Oh, and more papers. Oh, we like papers. Oh no, that's not a weight. That's a little, that's a little secret hatch. Yeah. To little metal things. Yep, and more little metals. Oh, these are really interesting. Here we go. I think there may be component parts from the balance. So you can see uh -huh. there are steel components in there where the pans are hung from. So I'm, I'm guessing they may be those. These pieces of metal are they're important. Let's have a look on there and just see if we can read this. I can't quite read the first. I take the liberty of informing you that it will be your turn to attend at the bank on Saturday next. It's a little message there. So it's probably clipped from a letter, aluminium slips for dividing upon. Okay. Aluminium, so later than the, the balance here. And another little slip of paper here. Oh, I feel like this is like treasure maps and stuff. Oh, platina, platina wire. But the wire's not there. Here we go. Mm, so, we're packing here. Oh, Ooh, here's a set of smaller weights. There's tenths in there in these little boxes. Again, these are all from, look to be from 1868. Oh, this is grains of weights. So they're really tiny, tiny ones there. Yeah, these says uh, aluminium weights, grains. So they're just using grains of aluminium just yeah. to fine tune one side of the balance. Can you get that? Yeah, do you want to open it? Oh, yeah. Wow. 
Wow, some of this is really delicate, isn't it? Mm-hmm. And you have a final draw there. Oh, oh, very nice. A glass dish, like a little... Yeah, so this, this almost looks like it's for a, a separate instrument, a kind of an apothecary scale one. That's the sort of thing you'd expect to find there. And this pan here has a chain and a hook still. Yeah, let's just take a look at that and see if we can take that out. Here we go. Oh, and it does look like it would actually fit in. It's the same sort of arrangement as you see on the big pans here. Amazing. Very good. And there's a false compartment under there. Oh, so if false you just compartment. Lift that. Here we go. You ready for the diamonds? Let's hope so. Ooh. Here we go. Oh, well, this is nice. I don't know what's this? Let's take a look at this. Another pan of some sort, do you think? Or? Oh, let's take a look. Yeah, possibly could be. But again, these are just working components for the main balance here. And this is everything that your, your chemist from the early 19th century would need to progress their work. And here's the amazing thing. It was a Royal Society instrument for 100 years, but it actually hasn't been at the Royal Society for the last almost 120 years. Yeah, so it's been at the Science Museum on display and we've called some objects back to take a look at them and to try and research the history a little bit more. And it's just nice to see the material back here where it can be displayed again. So the universe is now in, back in balance. Back in balance. I know you're not feeling well today, Keith, but you've I still know. got it. I know. <laughs> Keith, that was way too much fun. When the stones broke, into the gut, he fell down and died in great pain and torment. Oh, this is a very sad story. Yeah. I'm sorry about this. This it is just really off sad. So nice with the baking. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, uh, the two stones, when first taken out, weighed a pound and a quarter more than they do now. Hmm. Uh, they oozed and dropped water out of the sides. This is, this is getting, this is getting graphic, more unfortunate. Right? They had a strong smell. <laughs> oh, this is, this is really... Uh, yeah. It's a full sensory experience. Yeah, it is, yeah, yeah. 